Hi, Walter Boyd here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a weight and balance profile in iFly EFB and then how to perform a weight and balance check prior to your flight. Weight and balance is part of the aircraft profile. So if, we, if you go to menu setup and then aircraft, you can either edit an existing profile or create a new profile. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new profile and I'm going to just make a dummy tail number. And then I'm going to search for a 172 and select a 172 Skyhawk. So now I have a new profile. Uh, if you're setting this up, you can now go ahead and change your aircraft profile to your specific settings, the cruise speed and climb rate, things like that. You probably already have a profile set up. At the bottom now, you'll see this new entry weight and balance. I'm just going to tap that and I'm going to create a new weight and balance profile. Now I can either create it from an existing aircraft database of profiles or some generic presets or from another aircraft profile. So I'm going to select a 172. I'm going to accept the liability um, and now I've got a default setup for a 172. Now every aircraft is a little different. So you cannot use these settings as they are right here. Your empty weight has probably been modified. Your CG may have been changed. And uh, the loading uh, or, or the arm for your front seats and your back seats, all of this may be slightly different for your aircraft as well as the CG limits. This is just a default. So you'll need to change all of these numbers. For example, my empty weight might be 1615 or any other changes that you need to make. Now on this column here you can define on the contents column you can actually define uh, the default for these settings or you can leave them all empty. Or if if you're not setting up a 172 if you're setting up a you know six seat aircraft or if you have a storage compartment up front you can add additional stations by tapping add and entering uh, the type of station you want to add, whether it's seats or storage compartment or things like that. Now if I scroll down here, you'll see the CG limits. All of this data should be available for your aircraft uh, if you're doing weight and balances now. And then if you keep scrolling down, you can see the results of the current profile that I have set up. So the safe flight envelope and the TOW or the takeoff weight and the zero fuel weight, uh, all is perfectly in line. And then if you keep scrolling down, you can see the actual calculations that were used to generate this table. I'm gonna hit close and save. And at this point, I have created a weight and balance profile for my 172. Now to actually use this pre-flight, you would hit flight plan, and there's a new button here called Weight Balance. So I'm going to tap that. And now, now all I need to do is fill out this little form uh, for any, if I have anyone else in the front seat or in the back seat, uh, or if I have any cargo in the compartment, I just enter those values. So let's just say I have a traveler flying with me. And let's say I've got 20 pounds of luggage. I can scroll down and see the new values for the takeoff and zero fuel weight and I can still see I'm safe within my safe margins here. And so performing a weight and balance is super easy once you get this all set up. And it says it's safe, I'm green. If I would have put in a, a 400 pound man in the back seat, it's going to turn red, highlight that I'm unsafe and it'll show you exactly what's going on here. I've got uh, too much weight. So very easy to use. I'm going to tap that, set it back to empty. The other thing you can do is save this record. This button, if I hit save, lets you name this weight and balance record and save it. So now it's stored a copy of it. I can always go back and view these copies by going more options, weight balance, and then options, Browse record history. 
So these are some previously saved records. I can tap any of those to view it. And you can see the, the setup at that date time that, that I named for that weight and balance scenario. If I did want to reuse this, I can quickly do that as well. I know I went through this quick. It is a one minute quick tip. But that is the uh, procedure for doing a weight and balance uh, with the new iFly EFB. I would love to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, you can call us at 214-585-0444. Or you can give us an email at support at adventurepilot.com. Fly safe, guys.